Hi guys, a few days ago, Prime Minister Liz Truss went on the attack regarding what she called the anti-growth coalition. But we know that Brexit is anti-growth. Leaving the European Union has meant that Britain has put up trade barriers to its nearest neighbours and largest market. This has resulted in businesses laying off staff, hiring people or companies to do costly paperwork, relocating or closing down. Here the Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, takes on Brexiteers like Jacob Rees-Mogg and explains how to actually grow the economy. Have a listen. Mm. The easiest way, the quickest way to get growth is to join the single market, right? You yeah. st you're still outside the EU, but by joining the single market, you increase uh, growth almost overnight. And by the way, what does it do to the confidence of the markets? It boosts it. So let's not pretend that the government's, you know, concerned about growth because they're really concerned about growth. It's, a, it's, a, it's an ideological game they're playing, saying, you know, you're either with us, and by the way, only our policies will lead to growth, and if you don't agree with our policies, you're anti-growth. It's a caricature, and it's this, you know, what we call in politics a dividing line that you try and portray. And so anybody who's not for my policies is anti-growth, anti-my policies. And by the way, who's in this hodgepodge of people? XR, North Londoners, uh, Labour, mm -hmm. Lib Dems, SNP, Greens, uh, anybody basically who's not part of the 19... Who's not, who's not in it? Well, basically anybody who's not part of the 19% who currently support the Tory party, right, right. isn't it? Right. Uh, and right. you mentioned in, in the intro to this programme, it seems like, you know, everybody's, you know, you're either with us or you're against us in relation to uh, 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 being growth or anti-growth. And the problem is, they then say you're talking down the country. They then say you're talking down uh, our businesses when what you're doing is calling out some of the consequences of uh, Brexit. And my point about Brexit is this, Actually, look to see who's trying to make Brexit a success. It's us Remainers, by the way, who are trying to make Brexit a success. It was always going to be. Uh, it? Not Jacob rees mogg or, or Boris Johnson or, you know, those, you know, others, Michael Gove, who vacated the pitch now. It's those who said this would happen, who are now trying our very best to make it work and to criticise the government of Ireland, who have been proved right in relation to the sensitivity of the Good Friday Agreement, the importance of not having border, borders between North and uh, South, the fragility of uh, uh, peace, just beggars belief. Now, uh, I, of course, I don't believe that Brexit can be made to work, but he makes a very valid point about how it's Remainers who are trying to make it work in the sense that they're trying to work around it. They're trying to look, they're trying to deal with it in a pragmatic way. Remainers are not talking about, okay, we have to undo Brexit in, sen in the sense that the, we cancel the, the referendum vote. It's about, okay, here are the problems Brexit has created. How do we get round it? How do we mitigate it? Because Brexiteers will not attempt to mitigate it because they believe it's a success. They are denying reality. They're denying that businesses are struggling. They're denying, well, when they say that businesses are struggling, they'll say, it's, well, it's nothing to do with Brexit. It's to do with the war in Ukraine or it's COVID or something else. They will never mention the B word. So until you actually mention the B word, you can't fix the problem. And Sadiq Khan is completely correct when he says rejoining the single market would boost growth. It would boost confidence as well. The market would see, okay, the UK wants to move forward. It wants, it actually does believe in growth. It's not just about funneling money to the richest in society and making ordinary people suffer. It is actually serious about undoing the damage of Brexit. It is serious about growing the economy, uh, providing more money for small businesses, for individuals, uh, for the economy itself. And, and that's, the, that's the path to growth and that's the fastest way back to growth. But they don't want to do that because it's ideological now. We can't talk about, Bre don't talk about Brexit and certainly don't talk about undoing Brexit in the sense of rejoining the single market and the customs union. Now he didn't even say here about rejoining the EU. Uh, eventually that would have to happen because there's no point being part of the single market or there's very little point in being an economy such as the UK has been part of the single market but not having any uh, decision-making power. You want to be part of the decision-making as well. So that will eventually happen, but we need to clear away, remove from power the individuals who still are in denial. Liz Truss, for example. When she's saying that, well, you're either on my side or you're the enemy. 
and if you don't be if you don't believe that Brexit is a success, then you're the enemy. So yes, the, the fastest way to growth is rejoining the single market and the customs union. This needs to be hammered away until people, the, the general public, realise this. The politicians will follow whatever they think the public believe. So Liz Truss, of course, will turn if she believes enough people in the country believe that Brexit was a disaster and that rejoining the single market and the customs union is the path to growth. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.